Hello everyone and welcome back to Prison Architect. Last week guys, someone discovered an easter egg in this game. It's been in the game for months, people have been looking for it, people have been finding like files in the game and being like, well, what the hell's going on here? Something is in this game that we don't know about or some sort of update is planned for this game that we don't know about. And it turns out that if you go into the extras menu, there is a very hidden um, little symbol on the page. If you look down here, there's actually a little symbol that kind of pops up when you bring your mouse over. You can kind of see it without doing that, but um, it almost just looks like little lines in the page. It's, it says TT, basically, and when you click on it, this happens. Huh? Look at that! Look at that! Now the game is in 3D! The little workers are walking around doing stuff. Obviously, like, the whole game is in 3D, guys. You can see how over here, there's, like, two-dimensional trees. And then there's also, you know, three-dimensional trees. But this is so cool, because now you can play Prison Architect in a 3D mode. You can walk around as a 3D prisoner if you want, because there is an, you can use it in escape mode as well. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to open up a small prison, um, and we're going to escape from it. We're going to escape from it in 3D. Ooh, pretty exciting. Honestly, I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so the prison we're going to try and escape from, guys, is called Prisoner Boat. It's just like a boat-shaped prison. Um, I got it because it's really small, okay? It's small, but it, it's a working prison. It should be fine to, to escape from without too much of an issue. So, yeah, let's go ahead and play it. All right, so today we are playing as Dylan. And as you can see, there's some 3D shit right here. Those walls are gigantic. Holy crap. Okay, where am I? All right. <laughs> I'm sitting on top of the bus or standing on top of the bus or something. Wait, which guy is me? Oh, hang on a second. I can see me. All right, it looks to me like I'm supposed to have hair, but uh, that that's fine. That's fine. If you want to, if you want to give me hair, cool. What the hell is going on? Apparently, when you uh, when you have a prison in 3D mode, instead of having you know like regular old ground or something outside the walls, it just makes everything walls or something. Because this is supposed to be water here, but instead of having water, they just have walls. All right, where am I? What's going on? You are bringing me in here. All right, we're going into the reception. My only problem with this, guys, is that I can't go any lower to the ground. So, like, I can see myself here, but I can't actually, like, get a good view of what's going on. You know what I mean? I can't go down and get next to myself, so I can only see myself as, like, a, as, like, a, a bald head and some eyes. I look exactly like this guy over here. Oh, yeah, we're becoming one person now. Oh, baby, that's the good stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can see that we're actually passing like a bunch of weapons on our way, so I don't think this is gonna be too hard of a prison. I think we should have a pretty easy time just walking out the front door once we get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of reputation going here. Okay, so now I'm allowed to walk around, so... Yeah, you can, you can just zoom out and play it like you normally do, guys, and you can also zoom in and, you know, have a look around this way. I think it looks really cool, really strange, because of the whole, you know, water not being water, but really cool at the same time. And uh, you got to remember that uh, no matter where you spin your camera, um, the, the controls are the same. So if I press S now, I go up, which means I just need to spin my camera this way so I can tell what's going on. All right, so let's have a walk around for a little bit. Let's uh, let's go see what's going on in this prison. This is one of the guys that came in with me. His name is... Oh, shit, what did I do? Did I just try and beat someone up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was an accident. I'm going this way now. There's a saw over here. Oh, hang on. Can I have this? Got it. Okay, so now I have a weapon. I think I'm just gonna try and beat the crap out of people with it. Ah, what are you gonna do? I got a rep point, bitch, and now I'm passed out. I'm unconscious. I gotta skip my punishment. I just, I just gained zero rep points. Yay. What is that supposed to be on the ground right here? Right click to stash contraband. Yeah, but I just want to know what it is. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Can't get a good look at it. It, it looks like a, a, like a shower head coming out of the ground. What I love about this mode, guys, is you can use it to see so much further around the prison now. You know, you, you can you can tilt your camera and be like, all right, way on over there, I see that. I don't need to actually make my guy walk over there. I can just see it. What we do need to do is we need to find ourselves a shower. Hang on a second. That's what that thing is, isn't it? It is a shower head. Oh, man. That's not good. Because usually what I do... What's that guy doing over here? Why, why are you in the room next to me? Get out, you're not even a prisoner, you asshole. Um, yeah, usually what I do is I beat up the shower heads in order to get a bunch of reputation, but I can't do that because the shower heads are in the rooms now instead of being in the shower because it's a small prison. But what's in here? Maybe I could beat some stuff up in here. Ooh, is that bacon on the floor? I don't want to even touch anything because if you click on stuff, you just end up punching it, and that's not good. 
Hey, Ossifer, do you think you could leave the room for a minute so I can do some vandalism without, you know, you getting too mad at me? I'm gonna have to beat up some phones. Come on, beat up the phones. Oh, I got two, I got three, I got four. This is going well. All right, it's just really hard to see what's actually going on here, guys. Like, I can't tell whether or not I'm actually beating up these phones, but since I'm getting rep points for it, I'm assuming that I am. What's in here? Huh? I'm going in here now, guys. You can't get me. I actually, um, I see a lighter over here as well, so I'm gonna try and get the lighter later, I think. You guys are so slow. Do none of you even have tasers? I don't think they do. Okay, this is good. This is one of those easier prisons where they don't try and tase you. You just need to keep on running away from them. I'm gonna beat up that shower. Oh yeah, I beat up that shower. What you gonna do? You're gonna knock me out. Okay, that that's that's fine. But wait, I'm back again. You guys really gotta learn how to lock me up better, huh? Huh? All right, so we got five red points. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make me uh, quick because I wanna be a bit quicker. Uh, let's make me strong and deadly and a skilled fighter. Now we have one rep point left over that we're gonna spend on a friend. Who do we want to be friends with? I don't even see too many people around in this prison. It is a pretty small prison. We could get Sebastian, we could get uh, Adam, or we could get uh, Mr. Cornrows over here, who I think looks pretty cool. His name is James Bray. All right, James Bray, you wanna you wanna be my friend? What, two points? Aw, oh, cost two points to, re to recruit this guy, and I don't even have two points. This is bullshit. You guys are fixing those things, aren't ya? Okay, well, as soon as you're done, I'm gonna beat him up again. Just letting you know, okay? All your work is fruitless. Your life is pointless. Goodbye. Yo, James, you wanna be part of my crew? I know you wanna be part of my crew. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Hey, now he's part of my crew. Wait a second. What the hell is going on here, man? Look, Dylan, Dylan is supposed to have a head of hair and a little bit of stubble. And instead, he looks... What, what am I doing? Am I accidentally recruiting someone else? Okay, I am. Not a big deal. Who is the Brindley dude? I think that's uh, one of the fat dudes, isn't it? What the hell is going on? So yeah, I'm Dylan. I look nothing like me. Uh, I look like an egg. Not the same as the person. You know what I'm saying? And oh, okay. Now I'm Bray. Because uh, Dylan decided to get taken away. Bray has cornrows, guys. Look at him. He's just a dude with cornrows. But if you look over at the picture... He's supposed to be a dude with like a handlebar mustache and, and regular hair on his head, like like a buzz cut or something. Okay, I guess they don't have all the, um, you know, all the different character models and things. I think that the developers of this game, what what the hell, are we having a party in here, guys? Is I, I guess this is fine. We're allowed to have a party. Good. I think the developers for this game need to flesh this out a bit more and uh, fix the camera angles and, uh, you know, update some of the graphics and things like that. This could be a really cool mode. You know what I'm saying? It already is. I already like it a lot, okay? I just wish that I could uh, get down a little bit closer so I could feel more in the prison. Right now, I don't really feel any more in the prison. I just feel like the prison has turned 3D on me. I do like how smooth it is, though, guys, okay? This game seems to run a lot faster in 3D mode than it does in 2D mode, which is weird, but okay. I got three dudes now. My three dudes are uh, gonna follow me around for a little while. Do you guys wanna go beat up some more stuff, huh? You wanna, you wanna have a... Uh, uh, a vandalism party. Vandalism party, here we go. Keep on beating. That's the good stuff, guys. You're a great crew. What you should do is you should distract the, the guards so that I can run around beating more things up. Yeah. Oh, I got one. Yeah, got another one. Uh -huh. And I also got the quick on so I can, I can run around faster. Oh crap, there's a lot of people coming after me now. You guys don't like it when people beat everything up, huh? Well, you're just gonna have to deal with it because I'm really good at beating things up without getting caught. Yes, I am, yes sir. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, that was a good smack, but I'm alive. I'm alive. Who the hell did I just hit? I don't even know. And now all three of the dudes are unconscious. Just gonna skip the punishment, and everything's gonna be fine. 12 rep points, guys. I think we should probably start burning that in the prison. I think that's usually a good next step. No, no, we should recruit some more people, okay? We could recruit another couple of people before we do that. Okay, hang on. Let me see what I can do. I can't tell who is and isn't in my crew, guys, and it's really strange because I'm turning the camera and trying to look at people. Okay, Cecil Violence. That is an amazing name for a person. I want him to be in my crew. Hold right click to recruit. Come on, come on. Hey, you, get over here. Come on, I need to recruit you. Oh, oh I got it, oh, I got it. And now Cecil is part of my crew. All right, Cecil, apparently you have 40 minutes before you can actually leave. Uh, I, oh, okay, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm stuck in here, but no I'm not because the guard came over and let me out. Thank you, guard. You're really, uh, you're really nice in this prison. There's a cleaning cupboard over here that I'm allowed to go in, and it is like, this is like all kinds of like toxic shit in here. Look at that, poison right here, and I also have like a cigar. I'm gonna take the poison. 
Okay, uh, I did not pick up the poison. Let me try again. There you go. Okay, this can be dropped with the... Whatever the drop button is. There you go. Got it. And now I'm gonna throw this at someone. How does this even work? Like, I have no idea. Gah! I don't think I did anything. I can't actually do anything with the poison, guys. Whoa! Oh my god! What did I just do? Am I attacking you guys with poison? Because I didn't think this person was gonna get so beat up. Is he dead? Just injured? I don't know, man. I got the keys. I got the keys. Who's come with me? Hey, you guys gotta follow me right now, because we got Oh shit. Oh crap. I pressed the button and now my guy got sent to his his um his his cell. So I gotta wait again. I gotta wait. We got we gotta try this over. We gotta get a few more rep points now. No, we don't. We don't need rep points. We just need everyone to follow me. That was the problem. My buddies, my buddies weren't there to protect me. Okay. So now we got all uh, all four of us. I'm controlling um, Mr. Violence. Mr. Violence. That is such a great name, man. Damn. Look at look at the crew. Look at the crew. I wanted I wanted to get a good look at the crew, but it's kind of hard to do because because I can't actually see myself at the same time. All right, ten minutes till lockup is over. We're gonna toggle the follow so that as soon as everyone gets out of their cells, they're gonna be ready to go. Okay. And lock up is over. The doors are opening. Let's do this shit, baby. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I picked up cigarettes. That that's fine. I wasn't trying to pick up cigarettes, but I'll take it. That that's that's cool. Uh, we can't get in here, okay? Because these are staff doors, and we can't open them. I can get some blood. I can get a cell phone. None of these things are any good. Oh, here we go. We got ourselves a lighter. Always a good idea to try and uh, you know burn down the prison, or at least cause a little bit of havoc in here. So we'll light a couple things on fire. And then we'll run away. And we're not going to get uh, knocked unconscious very easily, guys. Don't worry. Because they don't have tasers, okay? You just got to run away. Don't mind me. Just going for a little, uh, just going for a walk through the prison. That's all I'm doing. The firefighters are coming. Can you just walk in the opposite? Nope, nope. The thing opened up. Hey, guys, can you open that door up again? It looks like someone needs to go through the door. Oh, no. One of my dudes got knocked unconscious. This isn't going well. Fight back. Fight back. We got We got to finish this off. We will not go down without a fight. Everybody else has already went down without a fight. Oh, I got the keys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just gonna go ahead and leave. This is not gonna work, is it? I mean, I, I totally abandoned all my other dudes. Mr. Violence, how could you? you? You don't seem like a very nice guy, man. I'm just gonna run down here, guys. No, I don't I don't want to leave without them. I don't... Oh, oh, I got knocked unconscious. Okay. Basically, guys, we all need to get some weapons. I know that, um... You know, a lighter isn't really much of a weapon. That wasn't a lighter. Pick up the proper things, please. Thank you. That's a lighter. I know it's not much of a weapon, but uh, we're going to find some other weapons as well. We just need to knock out, like, one guard and take their keys. That's all we need to do, and we should just be able to run out of the prison. But I need to get all four of the guys out, okay? That's the um, that's the goal here. I don't want to leave anybody behind. It's not good to do that, especially in a prison where people don't get shot, okay? They just, they just, I, I'm pretty sure the only thing they have is batons. They don't even have tasers, so we should be good. Knock, knock. What's up? Ooh, damn. Look at that. We got some good weapons here. Okay, Brindley, you're going to pick up whatever this is that you're grabbing. Scissors are a knife. It's a knife. Okay, good. Bray, you are going to get the uh, the scissors. And we just need to get something for Dylan as well. Dylan, what can you get? Ooh, a syringe filled with God knows what. So I'm going to take the strongest person out of him. I think that's probably uh, Brindley because he has, like, you know, a knife. And knives are pretty strong. We're just going to attack this guy over here. Come on, do it. There you go. Grab the keys. Guys, where are you going? Are you following me? What it was? Uh, following, following, following. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Get through the doors. We got a key. We got a freaking key. Let's go. Run out of the prison. There's, <laughs> there's an officer behind you, but uh, she's pretty slow. No big deal. Dodge the officers. Dodge the officers. I've got the key. I've opened up the door. You guys need to hurry up before the door closes again. Thank you. Now we just have to keep on going. Come on. Single file, everybody. This is just lots of time. I'm being sarcastic here. Seriously, you need to hurry up. <laughs> Where's our last guy? No. Where is he? There, there he is. Cornrose. Let's go. Cornrose. Come on. We need to get out of here. Go, 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 go. We're all alive. We just need to open the door and we're out. Come on. 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 Wait. Where are we going? This way? Okay. We'll go this way. I thought I was done. But after you leave the gate, you have to go to the side. All right, there you go. I did it. I escaped in three dimensions, and I only uh, did I kill th four people. I, like it's 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 hard to tell because when you play in 3D, it doesn't say whether people are dead or just injured. Okay, I feel bad because I killed like what is that like a lunch lady or something? I didn't mean to kill you, lunch lady. I don't even remember doing that. Okay, sometimes I just I lose myself in the aggression. Okay, so I apologize. Do you guys want to see like a um? Uh, a bigger prison, 
uh, maybe a, a more difficult prison with a 3D mode. Uh, as I said, it's really like it's really weird right now. You know, the water isn't water, and a lot of things need to be improved. I don't know if they're gonna do it because, as I said, this has been in the game for months, and all of a sudden someone was like, "Hey, there's a thing here that we can do." What the hell? And then the internet kind of went crazy. It was posted on a bunch of journalism sites, and everyone was just like, "This is a thing, man. This is actually a thing." And I noticed that um, a lot of people play Prison Architect. It is a really popular game on Steam, so it's kind of funny that nobody re realized that until now. But I'm just, I'm just happy they did because it's pretty fun. Okay, it's nice to see people in 3D. I just wish they look like they're supposed to. But yeah, if you guys want to see a bigger prison in the 3D mode, I can totally do that as well. I just wanted to start off with something small and see if I can escape. And it turns out I can escape. Yay me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.